Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use Plotly. So Plotly is a really flexible tool and you can get quite advanced as you go through your Plotly experience. There's lots of different graphs. You can build all sorts of interactive graphs. I think it has the ability to build nearly any graph you want, much more options than the likes of Power BI and Tableau, really useful for publications. And eventually you can start building some dashboard applications with Dash that could be served through a website. So really, really useful. But in this video, we're gonna talk about Plotly Express and building basic Plotly graphs. So I've got three imports I'm gonna do for Plotly here, Plotly Offline, Graph Objects and Express. We're gonna be using Plotly Express. And just looking at the data set here, this is a bike rental data set. So bike rentals over two years, and it gives you a lot of different attributes. So the basic syntax to build any plot in Plotly is figure equals px.graph, then you go a df x y axis and then you do your figure dot show this is a very basic scatter plot but that's how easy it is to do your first one i'm going to upgrade this now uh, i'm going to use a discrete value because if i use a continuous value for this season this is what i get so i'm changing this into a string to make it a discrete value i'm putting color into my scatter plot and then I'm upgrading the layout. So fig.upgrade update layout. And you have your title, your width, height, x axis, y axis. And I've changed my template to simple white. So this looks a lot better. And the great thing about Plotly is you can take any graph out into an image by just clicking on the graph and that can be put into your project or wherever you want to put that. So a little bit of data cleaning before we do our bar plot. You can see the year value in here is zero and one. I'm going to change this to the actual year from my plot. So I'm going to do a lambda function here, just an if else statement essentially, and it gets my year out. And then I'm just going to add the month to that. And I've got a month variable here. Then I'm going to put these into a bar chart. I'm going to group by month and reset the index. And that's what it looks like now. So I've just renamed my columns and this is what my data set will look like for the first two rows. Um, so basic bar plot, it's kind of the same example here, px.bar, bar data, and then x and y axis. And this doesn't look great. So again, I'm gonna update the layout. I'm putting in a smaller bar gap here to reduce that bar gap size because it's pretty big up above and it doesn't look great. Another thing I'm doing is I'm updating the bar color outside using a fig that update traces marker color equals that's the hex code for silver. And then the last thing I'm doing is I'm updating the hover label because if I take this out and I run this code, you can see that the hover label is this weird gray that doesn't look great. So I'm updating it here with a dictionary. All this code is available on GitHub, by the way. So don't worry if you're losing track of this. I'm going to show you where the GitHub is in the description. The next thing we're going to look at is a histogram. So again, px.histogram, the x, y axis, and this is what comes out of my histogram. So I'm gonna do a few things to update the layout here. I'm going to use a color scheme as a discrete, color discrete sequence, and you can get all the built-in color scales on the Plotly website here, so you can change it to anything in there. I'm also going to look at adding in a shape. So I'm adding in a circle with an X and Y axis and with a fill color in here. And this is fig.add shape. And we can do X zero to X one and Y zero to Y one. And this will show you where the circle is going to go. And I'll show you what this looks like now in a second. And I'm adding an annotation to that circle again at an X and Y axis. And I'm going to put a bit of an annotation in here. And you can see this looks great, especially if you're doing scientific data and you want a color and you want a arrow and that sort of thing okay so that's it with the histogram so we'll move on to a simple line chart in here and this is our last chart for today so px.line df and an x and y axis and this looks okay but we can again upgrade this with a couple of upgrades so i'm taking an average and a time here for my annotations and i'll show you that in a second updating the color of my line and then I'm adding a shape. So the important things in here is that we have the Y axis on the average line and the X axis goes from zero to one. Then adding an annotation at my X time and Y average, and I'm just shifting that to show it on the graph. 
So this is what my final line plot looks like with an average line. So the last thing I want to show you is multiple lines in the same bar plot. So we just provide a Y axis as a list and then we just update the color for the two data points. And this is what it looks like. So as discussed, all the code for today is on GitHub. I'll put a link to this down below. Hope you found this video useful. Follow Super Data World on YouTube for more Plotly tutorials.